Hey guys, Alex1860 here. Now, I know that this is not Rocket Road on Wheels. I know that I promised you guys I'd be doing that next, and I'm really sorry I'm not able to because the cord that I got off Amazon for my, well, for, yeah, the composite cords that I got off Amazon for my N64, GameCube, and SNES, um, well, the video cord, the yellow one, it's dented a little at the top, and that kind of ruins the only possibility, or the only way for me to record, so, yeah. Um, anyways, this is, as you saw, Tokobot Plus, Mysteries of the Car Curry for the PS2, requested by Tiger. So, Tiger, count yourself lucky, man. No, well, yeah, there's no reason for me to load my uh, practice run. I was doing a practice run just to see pretty much like everything else, unless it's requested to do blind. Um, I was doing a practice run just to see exactly how it was and how the controls were, stuff like that. No reason for me to load that, especially since I only got like five minutes into it. Long I'll shut up kind of now. even the ancient civilization existed in a time known by archaeologists as prehistoric. Moritari was home to a civilization that possessed So, ancient civilization with extreme technology. So, it's like Atlantis. However, that thriving culture was lost during the course of a single Like Atlantis. Night. Without anyone left to inherit it. I, is this seriously like Atlantis? I, I think it's like Atlantis. Tens of thousands of years have passed since then. The once proud cities of the ancients have crumbled into desolate ruins. Like Atlantis. Eventually, Probably. upon these ancient crumbling ruins, a new civilization was born. Oh, never mind. Although it paled in comparison to the Never mind, it's not Atlantis. It a new it's on land and there are people to take over it. And gave, it is. and gave rise to a thriving population. Within this civilization were adventurers who protected the prehistoric ruins from evildoers and sought to solve the mysteries of the ancients. They were called Treasure Masters. So, in one the term treasure master you would think would mean like people who just want to go out and get treasure. Um, apparently that's, I don't, I don't know how they could get that term for someone who wants to protect ancient ruins, but I don't know, that's me. And yes guys, that is me, and my name is Bolt. Oh, that talk about so cute. His destiny took a sudden and dramatic change of direction. Yeah, basically, ancient ru or ancient city destroyed. I live over it now. Or me and obviously a bunch of other people live over it now. I want to become a treasure master. I met a uh, Tokobot, and my life was changed. Okay. Hi there, Bolt. I hear you've been training hard. Training hard? I, I just got here. As a reward for all your hard work. Wait, opening the door counts as hard work? Sweet, I'm gonna make it far as a treasure master. I'm going to let you take the treasure master preliminary test. <laughs> so you're telling me I can become a treasure master just from walking in. The test Thank you. will be as follows. There is a slate in the Valve Air Ruins that supposedly contains prehistoric secrets. Okay. Your test is to find this slate and bring it back here. Okay. This is the preliminary test to become a treasure master. So wait. You say that like you give everyone the same test, but does that mean that there's more than one slate? Because if oh well. Mr. Kane, what about the treasure master test? Don't you think it's still too dangerous for Bolt? 
Wouldn't it be best to have him continue his training for? <laughs> He'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. I can open up. I can just open up a door by myself. I think I can do this. You know, fuel. For someone known as the demon teacher among the trainees, you're quite the worry wart. For these sorts of things, practice makes perfect. Okay, I see how it is. So you want me to go out into some dangerous, um, ancient ruins, and if I come out alive, then... Er, and just hope that I come out alive. Okay, okay, I see how that is. Besides, Volt has a reliable companion in the Chocobot. Yeah, th that little monkey machine thing is going to help me out a bunch. It's true that if he uses the Tokobot well, Bolt should have as good a chance as anyone. So you're saying that a bunch of other people have done this without Tokobots? And that I'm just going to have it? Are you calling me... Are you looking down on me? Come on. Very well then. Bolt, set off at once for the Valve Once we'll you've do. arrived, we will give you further instructions. Good luck! <laughs> but here we are at the ruins, and there's another well, cutscene. Isn't that great? <laughs> How do you like riding on the flying ship? Oh, I loved it. I loved that transition that never really happened because I'm just... I just teleported here. Just to remind you, I'll be your navigator, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hey How are now. you? What's with that face? Well, sorry, but I think I, I think I love you. I, I think I love you, Ruby. Now that we've been paired up, let's find lots of treasure. Be serious now, Ruby. Although you two may be childhood friends, this will be no picnic. This is a prehistoric ruin. You could die if you're careless. No, I could die if I'm careless. She doesn't even appear. Remember your training. She just and sits back and tells me what to do. No, you're she I'm gonna die. You aren't or she isn't. But yes, I will remember my training that never happened, my opening of the door, and I will be on guard. Ruby and I will support you from the laboratory. Uh, another cutscene. About the Tokobots. You can use many of their abilities when jointing. By okay. pressing the square, triangle, or circle. Joint is the process of pressing the R1 button. I, I was just about to explain that before you guys cut me out. In order to connect the Tokobot, just press the R1 button. I'll send you a report too, so take a look when you can. Okay, sounds good. I'll never read it. Okay, anyways, what they were saying, what I was just about to say was, at the top right you can see a little, uh, what would you call that, like a little, I don't know, a little thing <laughs> with circle, square, and triangle on it, and like different, like, kind of symbols under, or not underneath it, but next to those. Circle is what it's on right now, this is them being in, well, a circle. Square puts them in a line, triangle puts them, well, square puts them behind me, triangle puts them right next to me, and if you press R1, they join together. Ah, cutscene. joint. When the tokobots are linked together by the hands, that's joint. Don't forget it. Looks like they're trying to sure have a tug of war first, but once you learn with me joint... as the rope, so I think that would kind of hurt if they were actually, like, strong. Which apparently they aren't. Okay, anyways. And no, it's not really tricky. You'll well, actually, it, I don't know. It's kind of weird to get easily. used to, but... Okay, anyways. Jointing does have a very strong purpose in this. Uh, like, if you press circle and press R1, obviously you just jointed. Now press circle again. If I can... Oh, that's right. This one has to be in the air. So you jump, and then you can press circle, and there you go. You can do that. Whereas without it, you can't do it but um jointing with this press square and there you go can you do that 
Yeah, you can do that in the air. And with this, as usual, press... Why are you off? You don't... You and... You guys don't have any reason to be off. There you go. Press triangle, and just keep tapping it, and you can just keep doing this as long as you want. But I love how I'm basically just like gliding across the ground when I'm doing this. It... I don't know, it makes no sense, and I love it because of that. And when you go too long, like I'm probably going to be doing... Will I? Will I? Yeah, I'm gonna puke. There we go. But I'm better. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for jointing. Now, I hate to do this, but there's gonna be another cutscene. Just walk up to this and press L1, and then here you go. A large statue. Maybe prehistoric people worship Kara Curry robots. Okay, luckily that was hardly a cutscene, but I don't know. I remember there being like an actual cutscene there. Oh well, I'm glad. Ah! There's a strange looking rock. I thought I was done with the cutscene. Oh, that's in the laboratory. Yeah, I forgot how uh, how cutscene heavy the first area was. Which, I mean, I can understand. It is a tutorial level, so Using I'm good with it. Toko will make the Tokobots turn into a ladder. Okay. I see. Yeah. Basically, you do that, and you can just climb up them, and... It. it looks like I'm trying to do something kind of wrong to the top one. Um, the yeah. But yes, I know... I know, I know, that's what I'm doing. Either way, done with those cutscenes. Um, I think there's another one right here. Oh, nope. It's just another thing for me to check. I wonder what this is. Some sort of large contraption, but it doesn't seem like it's working. Maybe it's broken? Honestly, I'm not sure what that does. Again, I've only played like five, maybe ten minutes of... Uh, Attacks. Yeah, 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 I know, I you already showed that. Platform. Basically, she was just trying to tell me... Oh, I forgot to join first. Basically, she was just trying to tell me that I can use these guys while I'm jumping, which, again, I've already showed off. And I think I have it down. Those now these... Are prehistoric parts. Prehistoric parts. They have lots of historical value. Lots of historical value. So the kingdom gives out rewards. For rewards. That's the word I'm most interested in. Make rewards. Sure to them if you Basically, you sell these at the end of a mission for money. From what I've seen, and from what I remember. <laughs> Is that a pot over there? Huh. I wonder. Sometimes energy or prehistoric can be found hidden inside things like that. So basics to like pretty much every other game. Not what I meant to do, I meant first try. Yeah, this you can use, this, I uh, know. This and this can both be used to attack. Um, this one's weaker, but obviously you can keep using it and it's kind of defensive because it pushes enemies around. Uh, this one's stronger and you have to aim it a bit, but it's definitely a whole lot better and Ah, I was. Uh, I could do this without your help. Switch. You can press it using a Toko Stomp attack. Of course, you can also use a Toko attack, but the Toko Stomp is easier, so you should learn it now. I'll have Ruby send you a. To perform this action, join together and press the circle button. Okay, that's what I was going to do. Um. But yeah. Basically, joint, jump, do this. Now, he also said you could do that with a Toko attack, so I was... He said it was easier to do it th do it like this, but that's harder because you have to press an extra button, and this, all you have to do is aim. It's easier. <sighs> I almost forgot. Apparently, you can't use joint if you don't have many Toko bots. I wonder why. Maybe it has. I'll send you the report, so be sure to take a look. Here, send me a report on something that you're not sure of. Great job. Now I know that it sounds like I'm complaining, but at the same, I'm, 
and I am complaining. It's just... What are those guys trying to do? I mean, I know they're trying to get in line, but they're... I don't know. Anyways, I'm just complaining because I kind of want this to be a shorter video for... Well, YouTube reasons. No, not what I meant to do. But, ah! And then, but then there's like too many cutscenes to really do that, so I'm complaining about the cutscenes, and yeah. And I keep forgetting to join. Remember how earlier I said that, yeah, it's not really all that tricky? I don't know, it kind of is. It takes a bit to get used to. Hello, Eggy. That's a prehistoric mechanical robot called a Keeper. Hmm, that would be a Beeper's type. Keepers are reportedly the protectors of the ruins and will attack investigators and robbers alike. It's dangerous to get too close. So use the V formation jointing toko attack. The V formation jointing toko attack. And would you mind explaining what that is? To attack them from a distance. Is that just this? Cuz that's not really much of a V. Oh well. Get on the hand. And then here we have something. I honestly don't know what that is. But I know that it's there, so. Let's see how many hits it takes to kill you like this. Okay, still just one. But you, on the other hand, I can't really do that to. I don't think. Watch out for the spikes on its side. Oh, really? I thought those were just for decoration. Bolt, their weak point is on top of their heads. Use a toko stomp or toko attack to... Okay, I was I was kind of waiting for him to say that the toko stomp would have been easier here. And I would just be like, really? Yeah, no, I'm just going to do this. Oh, duh, I forgot you take multiple hits. Okay, well maybe it would be easier. Or not. By the way, at least it's not like... Too bad doing that, but I don't know. I kind of just wanted to see because I've never actually used that on an enemy in like my five previous minutes of playing. Up, huh? Maybe you can move them with the Tokobot's help. Oh really? Yeah. Press L1 when I block. And come on, I'm doing it. I'm pushing it. Oh, I have to push it back or pull it, not push it back. Yeah, okay, I just wasn't thinking there. That was my fault. Oh no, four enemies! What will we do? Time. At times like these, you should use the toko screw. The toko Press screw. The triangle repeatedly while jointing to take them all out at once. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know. I've used that plenty of times. Basically, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. And you're dead. And those robot fruit things, all they really do is restore health. They aren't the treasures like what we saw earlier, so. If you're full on health and... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was just sitting there like, wait, how do I only have one up here with me? Because I've... Yeah. Anyways, um... Yeah. I don't remember what I was like saying, so obelisk. yeah. That's... It looks like an obelisk. Very descriptive. Very descriptive there. You can save your investigation's progress here. They're devices that were used for transport in the prehistoric. We used them in Canewood's lab to make our own transport system. If you make sure to investigate the save point once, you can warp right to the save point from the lab. Try investigating it right away. Okay, so basically, if I step on this and I, well, choose a certain option, then I can teleport back, or if I choose another option, then I can save. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead, end this here, and save. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Sorry that this was very cutscene heavy. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be like that in the next episode, too. I'm not sure, because this is the farthest I've gotten, actually. Um, 
But yeah, so anyways, I guess I'll see you again soon. So, see you everyone.